Hi, it's Caleb Leverett. It's August the 10th. I got called real quick to a, a small field job not too far from home. Um, I'm taking the kids back to Santa, or at least uh, Hayden and Bly or Hayden and London tomorrow so they can do their meet the teacher. But this video is about, I am looking for an attorney or a team of attorneys that have the balls to, and the gumption to take on the San Antonio Police Department and Nick's Hospital. Uh, last week I got a letter from is the De Texas Department of Family Services, basically the big umbrella over Child Protective Services, CPS, and they basically said they found no wrongdoing. They interviewed Blaine while in Nick's hospital and that there was nothing they could do and they, there's no proof of anything. Well, I happen to think that's crap. A friend of mine got a hold, somehow got a hold of the top dog of child, or of Texas Family Protective Services or whatever it's called, uh, Hank something, I don't even remember the guy's name. And supposedly he contacted our caseworker whose name I'm not gonna reveal and assured my friend that Blaine was in good hands with this person. Well, after the letter I got, I found out that it's all a bunch of crap and CPS still sucks. CPS does not protect children. CPS apparently just likes to protect CPS. They are a gigantic leech. They are sucking off the teat of all the taxpayers in the state of Texas. And it appears to me that it's just good old American fascism. The San Antonio Police Department put my son Blaine in handcuffs about eight times in less than two weeks. Starting when he was 13, he spent his 14th birthday in Nick's Hospital, which is admittedly, on their own part, a private hospital. If you've watched this channel, you saw me protesting. You saw my own son getting arrested when I dropped everything just to go get him to, to, to bring him home to me. Anyway, I got interrupted there with the phone call. Blaine has been with me for two weeks now. Or no, three weeks. But Blaine and all the kids have been, we've, you know, we've had absolutely zero problems. None, no, every, but everything is happy. Everything's great, going excellent. But again, it just seems like there's a big cover up. It, it, either all of my kids are lying about what they saw or there's a big, nasty rat in the hen house. So if you are an attorney in the San Antonio area and have the, the gumption or the desire to do this, I don't have any money, no, nothing significant. I've got just enough to pay my bills. I've still not even paid off my lawyer in the civil suit I'm in here in Hector County, Texas. But if, if you will, are willing to take this on and bring justice not only to blank, because there's no way that this is the first time this has happened. This is just the first time that someone like me with a loud mouth and an audience can shed light on the crap that's happening in San Antonio. And I'm sure it's happening all over the place. I've, every time I've ever posted something about CPS is just crap. It, it's just like, 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 yeah, me too. Yeah, I see, I'm going to the same thing here in New York or here in in even Canada or California or all over the place. It, it the, I'm not saying there's not a, a, a place when there are really kids that they actually do protect. I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but at the price, at what price? And, I'm, and on the flip side of that, there's good parents out there that have their kids in Texas ripped away from them for just because mom and dad had a, a joint had marijuana on them that automatically made them a bad person, bad parent, so they got taken away by CPS, and those children wound up dead at the care of the foster parents that CPS put them in. So again, if you are an attorney in that area, or if you know somebody in that area that is willing to take this on, I've got a plethora of YouTube videos where I have physically shown up and filmed Nick's Hospital, filmed all of these different cops in San Antonio violating my son's civil rights. I do have primary custody of Blaine now, but I still want justice for Blaine. This, this, that's not good enough for me. 
it's not good enough. Okay, well, Caleb, but he got his he got his son, so maybe he'll shut up now. No, that's just not who I am. There's way more to this than just me protecting just my son. Yes, I got to take care of my kid, but I would be I would feel horrible as a person, a human being, to not recognize that it happens to thousands and thousands and thousands of other good parents and good kids. So let me know. Crankmycat at gmail.com is my my uh, my email address. Just put in the title. Something will catch my eye because I get a lot of emails. Uh, I'll try to read some of the comments here, but I can't. I cannot read all of the comments here. The best way to get me is either tag me in Facebook or message me on Facebook or uh, send me an email. Thanks so much. I love you all. Peace.